Our Heavenly Father, we are so grateful today that you have come. Uh, we have come here to, to learn and to uh, study your word. We pray that as we learn about other religion, may we maintain that spirit of respect and curiosity perhaps and a love for learning as well. Thank you, Lord. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Guys, before ako mag-message, two prayer requests ko talaga nung bago ako mag-message is one, sana hindi siya maging boring sa inyo. Kasi this topic, like I said kanina, it's very informative. So para kang nag-class talaga sa school. And alam ko, bakasyon na kayo ngayon. Ayaw nyo nang mag-class. Pero meron pa kayong kaklas ngayon. So very informative siya. So I, I pray that hindi siya masyado maging boring sa inyo. I'll try my best na hindi siya maging boring. And secondly... I hope that this message would give clarity rather than confusion. Uh, later on, I'll be showing you some of the, the basic teachings of other religion. So I hope excited din kayong malaman uh, yung other religion besides Christianity. So before, before anything else, guys, four objectives or goals for today. Very simple lang naman. Number one, I wish to give you an overview Guys, wait lang. Baka pag narinig niyo yung overview, ayaw niyo na. <laughs> overview, very simple. Lang. Overview of major religions in the world. Simple lang siya. Second is understand the difference between Christianity and Roman Catholicism. Itong number two, guys. Sobrang important na ito. Kasi ito yung question ko nung high school ako. Uh, growing up in St. Stephen High School. Uh, mula Eleb palag yata, grade 6 of first year high school ako. Ang dami ko ng tanong. Bakit mukhang Roman Catholic yung church natin? Bakit merong gown si Reverend ganito? Bakit meron siya nung sina- yung, yung, yung nandito? Para talagang Roman Catholic. Say, ano difference natin with Roman Catholicism? So I'll, I'll try my best to answer that this uh, afternoon. And thirdly, look lang guys. Number three is look lang. Look into the basic teachings. We don't have to understand. We don't have to. But titignan lang natin yung basic teachings and practices of Buddhism and Islam. And then fourth, last, ito yung pinaka-important sa afternoon na to, is to see and appreciate the uniqueness of the Christian gospel. And share ko rin a bit mamaya kung bakit Christian ako. And bakit itong religion na to, what I, I really firmly believe is the truth. Yan, mamaya sa number four. Okay, so guys, tanong ko sa inyo, no? Uh, ibig ba sabihin, ay Harold, paano ang dami kayang religion? Search nyo ngayon guys, tibet nyo search ngayon sa Google or sa Bing. Ilan ang religion meron sa world? Uh, ilan hula nyo? Nasa 4,300. Pag tinipe mo yun sa internet, sa Google search, lalabas 4,300. Those are the number of religions we have in the world. So sabi mo sa akin, ay Harold, paano to? Ang dami nun sobra, dapat ba aralin ko isa yun, lahat yung 4,300 na yun para malaman ko alin yung totoo? Hindi, it doesn't have to be that way. Kasi all religions can be categorized into three. Lahat ng religion fall under these three categories. The first one is, mabilis lang, number one, left, uh, wait, left, left sa, sa screen nyo, only the universe exists. So basically, uh, no God. This is atheism, naturalism, scientific realism. And to your surprise, guys, kasama ang Buddhism. Buddhism is atheism. Except for one branch of Buddhism, which is Mahayana, they believe in God din. Pero most of Buddhists, in, in talagang pag pinag-aralan yung religion nila, is atheistic. No God. And then sa kabila, uh, on your far right, is only God exists. Uh, Parang ang weird, no? Walang universe. Pwede ba yung ganun? Si God lang? Yes, many people believe that. Pantheism means that everything around you, even the chair, even the table, there's an essence of God in there. And panentheism, always, likewise, pero mas may konting separation. And mysticism, uh, very loose lang, medyo mga, may mga mysticism who believes that God is in the world or the world itself. No? Uh, and only through meditation that you can commune with this God. And then sa gitna, ito yung pinaka marami din. Yung, yung both God and the universe exist. So dito tayo papasok. Christianity and even Islam. Uh, Hinduism, loosely. Pwede rin kasi sa only God exists na. Uh, so guys, ba't ko pinakita lang to? Ibig ko lang sabihin na ito, this is at the very basic level, you can categorize religions under these three. Uh, very basic ah, Kasi it would take you forever to just study one religion minsan eh. 
sobrang dami, sobrang lalim eh. But you can easily categorize them and maybe study them under these three categories. So, guys, tanong ko sa inyo, um, ano kaya ang top religion sa world? Sino ang may pinakamaraming followers? Uh, pwede nyo isulat sa chat. Tingin nyo sino pinaka-top, pinakamaraming followers na religion? Is it Christianity? Is it Islam? Is it Hinduism? Buddhism? Or what not? No. Meron daw 18 lang. Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, 4,300 ang religion. Pero 18 lang ang major world religion. I think may criteria sila to, 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 uh, to fall under bago ka magiging major religion. According to, ayan yung, uh, yung site, according to World Religion Database, ito yung 18. No? Uh, hindi natin kailangan ano yun to. Basta ito lang yung 18 major religion. Again, I'm just giving you an overview. Ito yung sagot, guys. Um, maybe some of you were surprised. Ang world's largest religion is Christianity. Uh, this is a religion by country 2021. Pwede nyo i-search. Um, number one is Christianity. Second is Islam. Third, Hinduism, and then Buddhism. Yan ang ano, uh, world's largest religion. And another sa Britannica, same thing. Sabi sa Britannica. Uh, primary, number one is Christianity. Second is Islam. Third, Hinduism. Fourth is Buddhism. So just to give you uh, roughly an idea of the world religion, let's try to narrow it down, guys. Uh, Philippines naman. Religion na lang sa Philippines kasi sa mundo dami. Sa Philippines na lang. Uh, di ba kanina binanggit religion na ang pinaka-top is Christianity. Kasama doon ang Roman Catholicism. Uh, ini, siyempre under un, under ng umbrella yung, yung Roman RC sa uh, Christianity. So sa country pala natin, 82.9 are Catholics. Possible kasama dito yung by label lang. Uh, Catholic lang sila but not really practicing. Parang sa atin minsan. Christian daw pero hindi practicing. Ooh, hugot, hugot ng mga paso. Minsan may mga ganun. Hindi naman nagpa-practice pero they just want to be identified as a Catholic. Next is Muslim, 5%. Then 4.5 other Christian denomination. 2.8 tayo. Uh, evangelical Christian. Ibig sabihin lang na evangelical from the Greek word euangelion which is a gospel. We believe in the pure gospel of Jesus Christ, the word to be the final authority of word and action. Sorry, parang bilis kaya tayo magsalita. No? Kasi mahaba eh. Ma ang bigat ng topic na binigay sa akin. Hindi kailangan ko medyo bilisan. So, evangelical, 2.8% lang tayo guys in the Philippines. Uh, mas marami pala tayo sa iglesia. Ayan si. But again, this is 2016. So, somehow, kapag mayroong discrepancy ng 5 years, usually naglalaro lang yan sa 2, 1 to 2% or 3% difference. Sa, lalo na doon sa mga malalaki. Yung iba, point something lang difference. And then, 1.8 some other religion, unspecified, and 0.1% lang pala ang no religion. Again, guys, this is the, in the Philippines in Cultural Atlas website. Share ko lang, guys. Um, first, gusto ko i-discuss is Roman Catholicism. Um, RC, guys, sa mga nag, nag, nanonood ng mga classmates ko sa atin ngayon, kudos ako sa inyo. Sobrang, guys, sabihin ko lang sa inyo. Share ko lang. Roman Catholics, sobrang warm nila. Sobrang loving nila. Sobrang mapagmahal talaga nila. Papatabain ka nila. Palagi ka nila papakainin. Uh, Nag-aral nag ako sa sa LSD, sa sa seminary ng Ateneo. Nakasama ko mga pare, mga magpapare. Iba-iba silang years. Uh, year level, I mean. Sobrang warm talaga nila. Kasi yung pagpasok ko pa lang, sabi nila, oh, Harold, kumain ka na ba? Uh, Tapos papakainin nila ako. Tapos sobrang community talaga sila doon. What I'm trying to say is the Roman Catholics talaga sobrang, sobrang, I, I really love them. Sobrang love na love ko tong, tong bunch of people. Eh. Lalo na mga na-meet ko na mga, mga Jesuits kasi sila. Kasi sa atin is Jesuit. So ito kami, class namin to. Uh, hindi naman kayong older dito. May mas older, may mas old pa sa akin. akin dyan. So, uh, in other words, nakausap ko rin yung, we call them the brothers eh. Kung nag-study kayo sa atin eh, meron yung mga scholastics. Sila yung mga mga nagse-seminary na nag-aaral din sa LS or sa Loyola School sa sa others sa secular school para ganoon. Kasi etong mga pare, nag-aaral sila ng philo muna bago theology. So sa philo class namin, naging kaklasiko sila. Okay. Uh, so guys, pag sinabi mo bang Roman Catholic, ano yung pumapasok sa mind niyo agad? Um 
paano mo malalaman kung Roman Catholic to o ano nang meron sa kanila? Um, again, we're answering the question na, what is the difference between Christianity and Roman Catholics? Ano difference nila sa atin? Baka pareho lang naman, ay harod. Baka wala naman kami pinagkaiba. In truth, medyo malaki. Malaki ang difference natin. So here are, are some of the pictures. Sabihin ko sa inyo guys, ha, in my experience, sir, mga Roman Catholics, sobrang, sobrang rich ng culture nila. Sobra talaga. Ang ganda ng culture nila, lalo na yung sign of the cross. I really love the sign of the cross. And even meron silang rosary, uh, may mga saints sila. Um, yan yung picture of a Roman Catholic na kung nakapunta na kayo sa yun, nakita yung upper right may malaking picture dyan that, that's San Augustine Church San Augustine Church is the oldest Roman Catholic Church uh, pwede kayo pumunta kung gusto nyo uh, meron din lower left yung may, sat, may, may ano ni Mary yung color blue sa baba that's San Roque Church so pag nakita mo pa lang guys kung nakapunta na kayo ng church natin tsaka church uh, na, nasa, na nasa picture pwede rin yung Google search yung San Augustine Church. May difference talaga. Malaki ang difference. Una sa kanila may saints. Ayan, sa picture. Um, sorry, I hope makita nyo. No? Sa left and right. Tinry ko siya make it big enough for you to see. Meron talagang saints. Which we don't do. Uh, pagpunta ka ng, ng St. Stephen's Parish, kahit St. Stephen tayo, hindi mo makikita yung St. Stephen. Kasi ang culture nga ng Roman Catholicism, they want to include the prayers, the works of the, the saints, of what they have done. Kasi ang gaganda talaga ng ginawa ng mga saints, yung mga prayers nila. In fact, nung pumunta nga ako doon sa LSC, sa Ateneo, pagpasok ko doon, meron agad picture ni ano, St. Ignatius Loyola. Meron buong katawan, whole body, meron half lang hanggang dito lang mukha niya. Ganun. Kasi they adore and they praise these saints for what they have done. And also guys, tinanong ko rin si Dom. Uh, si Dom is yung kaninang Jesuit. Di, nasa Gitay, naka-gray. Tinanong ko siya, anong, anong ibig sabihin nung, nung Santo Nino? Di ba kasi we always see that um, Santo Nino means pala daw yung we go back to the childlike faith. That's child Jesus. Uh, batang Jesus daw. You remember the childlike faith that God desires for us. So ganun sila. May mga different cultures sila. to symbolisms that they use to to enhance boost the spiritual morale of the Filipino people or people in general. So, ko tanong mo ulit ako, ay Harold, anong difference? Malak may difference bang Roman Catholic Christianity? Meron. <laughs> we don't we don't uh pray to the rosary, we don't say Hail Mary kasi different talaga. Magkaiba siya. Uh, meron din yung black Nazarene or Nazareno yung translation they move Jesus from one place to another to symbolize yung um, yung journey ni Christ to to the crucifixion and kaya din black ang guest ko is kasi he was it, it paints a picture of suffering ni Jesus kaya black kasi sobrang tagal na siyang ginagawa niyo nag, nag black na yung blood kasi di ba pag blood matagal nagiging black ganun ka intense yung suffering ni Jesus Again, these are practices and cultures of the Roman Catholic. Uh, I'm guessing baka may nakita na rin kayo sa ba- bandang bahay nyo. Baka may nagbabasa ganun or may nag-procession na ganyan. Those are Roman Catholics. Okay. So guys, ano ang difference um, in terms of teachings, in terms of catechism? So ang, uh, huwag kayong matakot guys sa mga terms. Ang catechism is just teaching. Para ganun. Ginawa lang nilang mas formal. Three difference, guys. Three difference pagdating sa Roman Catholic. Quickly lang, very quickly. Number one is, ang difference natin with Roman Catholics is equal ang Bible and tradition sa kanila. What I mean by equal and tradi- ang, ang equal ang Bible and tradition is both have the same authority. Share ko sa inyo. This is uh, Lorraine Bettner. Um, sabi niya sa book niya, um, I have it with me, nandito, color orange. Um, ito, this this book on Roman Catholicism. He said that yung Council of Trent, the most authoritative of all Roman councils. Sorry guys, medyo informative na. I hope you don't fall asleep. Or what. One of the greatest historical importance of the Council of Trent, which is 1546, he declared that the Word of God, nakalagyan, that the Word of God is contained both in the Bible and in tradition, that the two are of equal authority. Um, Akin niya emphasis. So, sabi pa niya din, equal veneration and respect. So what I'm trying to point out here is, magkaiba. Magkaiba tayo kasi tayo Bible lang. The Bible is the sole authority in matters of faith and practice. Yan yung isa sa mga unang minemorize namin sa seminary. Sobrang important. The Bible is the sole 
authority in matters of faith and practice. Sa Roman Catholic, hindi. Dalawa. Uh, dun sa picture kanina na dun si Bien, sa kong friend na uh, Jesuit din, tinanong ko rin siya eh. Sabi ko, Bien, how do you see the Bible as an authoritative book? Sinabi niya sa akin na, uh, admittedly, ang Bible daw talaga for them is not 100% true. Or hindi yun yung 100% na pinafollow nila as Roman Catholics. So, nung nasa class nga ako sa Christianity and Dialogue, even yung prof ko nun, yung si Father, si Father Manuling, sinabi niya rin sa amin na, ano, oh, san, san sa Vatican sinabi to? Tapos may magtataas ang kamay, Vatican ganito, section ganito. Mas nagko-quote sila with the councils, the, the, ba, Yeah, Council of Trent. Yun ang mas kinu-quote nila more than the Bible. Um, although they quote din naman from the Bible, lalo na sa Gospels, but binabalikan nila yung catechisms talaga and uh, yeah, the councils of the Roman Catholic. Yun ang mas same equal authority kasi sa kanila. So I hope hindi siya... Nag-gets nyo ba guys? I hope nag-gets nyo. Uh, yan yung difference internally. Kanina externally, di ba? Nakikita natin may mga iba-ibang practices. Ito naman, pagdating sa teaching, magkaiba tayo. Tayo, Christian, evangelical, from the word evangelical, evangelion, gospel lang tayo. Ibig sabihin, Bible lang. The word of God is the 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 primacy or the primary thing that we we believe in and we practice. Everything is evaluated in the Bible. So I hope you don't get me wrong guys. I'm not saying na mali sila na wag, dapat hindi nila ginagawa to condemn them. Hindi, that's not my point. Uh, but that I'm trying to say is different talaga. Magkaiba. Kasi nga sobrang rich ng tradition ng Roman Catholics. In fact, just a trivia for you guys. So sobrang rich ng Roman Catholic. Even yung sa atin, Church at St. Stephen's Parish. Kaya mayroon tayong medyo similarity with them. Kasi nga sobrang ganda nung nung culture nila but here's here's the important thing ah. don't get me wrong guys we don't compromise the integrity of the word wala tayong kinocompromise na integrity ng word ni God that's very important sa atin number one natin is doctrine talaga and practices are just secondary so for example na experience ko share ko lang guys para mas magets nyo one time nag 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 ang tawag yun? funeral service kami um may nakita ko isang pastor na nakabarong siya at nag-officiate siya ng funeral. Nakabarong. Ganun. Which is nice. Which is maganda. Ganun. Pero naghirit yung, humirit yung, hindi, hindi tayo. May, may humirit sa family na ah, parang, parang hindi daw masyadong, paano ba? Parang hindi masyado daw holy yung aura nung time yun. Parang ganun. Parang ah, nakabarong lang si pastor. Parang ganun. Kaya tayo, minsan, meron tayong ibang tradisyon na meron tayo yung gano'n. It shows more respect. It shows, yeah, a, a more serious time of... I, I, sorry, di ko alam kung nagigets yung kayong mas bata. Pero mas nakakatanda sana. But what I'm trying to say is, minsan, yung tradition that we use really helps to minister to people. But again, the integrity of the word must always be protected. Valued and respected. In my, dito ako sa church natin, St. Stephen's Parish, wala pa ako nakita na sinacrifice natin yung integrity ng word ni God for tradition. Uh, by the grace of God, wala. Wala tayong ginawang ganun. So, kaya rin may colors tayo, di ba sa service natin may mga colors. Sobrang nakaka-help kasi yung colors eh. It reminds you what season it is. And magugulat ka guys, ang dami nating member. Ilang beses ako na pinamali, oh, Pasarod, bakit yan yung color natin? Dapat ganito ah. Alam nila eh. Kasi nga, these are very good pictures and symbolism. Enough about that, guys. Isa pa, no? Um, pag napansin nyo sa Roman Catholic, you can search this kung meron kang Roman Catholic Bible sa sa bahay nyo. They, they change something din sa pagdating sa sa Ten Commandments. Ito isang example lang, no? Um, I'm, again, guys, I'm not, I'm not, hindi ko sila sinisira, ano? I'm just stating facts. Ito talaga, eh. Tingnan mo sa Roman Catholic nyo Bible. Um, in a list nila yung second, which is carved image and all and all. Um, and then sinearch ko, ano ba yung argument between the two? Bakit nila pinalit? Uh, na-search ko si Mother Teresa, sinagot niya yung question. Sabi niya, um, naiintindihan mo ba yung Ten Commandments daw ng Catholic? Yun yung una niyang question eh. Do you understand it? Sabi ng interviewer, yes, I understand. Sabi niya, then don't ask kung bakit pinalitan. 
just just do it. In other in other words, hindi rin clear kung bakit panilitan. Although may isa pang argument, sabi niya kasi yung 10th commandment sa atin, di ba? Tingnan yung 10th commandment natin, Protestant. Do not covet anything that belongs to your neighbor. Na equate yung kasama diyan yung wife, eh. yung wife, livestock, item or ano pa man. So sabi ng Roman Catholic, dap mali 'yun. Kasi dapat hindi ma-equate ang women with item. Kaya ni separate nila. Tingnan niyo, ginawang you shall not covet your neighbor's wife and your neighbor's goods kasi hindi dapat same length 'yun or same level ang ang women with item. So may mga ganong arguments to to why they did that. No. Uh, again, they they go for tradition, mas important talaga ang for equal sila with with tradition. Secondly, quickly lang, and uh, this is from the Catechism of the Roman Catholic, uh, Part 1, Section 2, Chapter 2, Article 3, Paragraph 2. Uh, sorry, wag, wag yung patsinin yan, basta nasa, ano, nasa Catechism siya ng Roman Catholic Church. Nakalagay dyan very clear um, that Mary was actually perfect uh, when she conceived Jesus uh, sa, sa tummy niya. She became the Blessed Virgin Mary. So in other words, nakalagay dyan, sa underline preserve immune from all stain of original sin. So, ito yung difference din natin sa Roman Catholic. Kasi sa, sa, sa kanila, si Mary is really perfect. Uh, no sin. In fact, nakausap ko si Reynald. Reynald is yung isang friend sa Ateneo. Uh, M.A. Philo din. Even sinare niya rin sa, sa akin na nag, nag-konting, hindi naman debate, pero nagkwentuhan kami about about Mary. And she was uh, he was defending nga si Mary is sinless. She was sinless talaga. So and and ano siya uh, nag-help siya sa Roman Catholic Church. So nakita niyo may difference talaga. So this is from their catechism. So for them Mary is is sinless. Sa atin hindi. Uh, Mary was the same as being a human being who is a sinner as well. Kaya niya kinanta yung Magnificat and she declared God. Sorry hindi ko na project dito no. Kin- kinanta niya yung Magnificat. You can look at it sa Magnificat. She declared God as her savior. So when when you hear Mary declare na sa, na savior niya si God meaning sinner siya kasi kailangan niya ng savior. Uh, so we we again we go back to the Bible eh. Bible talaga tayo in how we interpret. Uh, yeah. And last visa para lang difference sa, sa teachings ng Roman Catholic Uh, same same ano naman same catechism of the Roman Catholic pero ito nasa section ah, chapter 3 na to article 9 paragraph 3 ang sinabi niya rin naman dito tingnan niyo naka-underline for it is through Christ's Catholic Church alone which is the universal help towards salvation that the fullness of the means of salvation can be obtained uh, many people are saying na uh, Christian saved by grace Catholic Roman Catholic saved by good works I think this is what they're referring to kasi nakalagay dyan, it is through Christ Catholic Church. Um, nilagay pa nila, nilagay talaga yung Catholic, ibig sabihin sa kanila, you know, alone, which is the universal help towards earth, that the fullness of the means of salvation can be obtained. Um, in other words, kailangan maging part ka talaga ng Catholic Church, which is the universal help towards salvation, for you to experience the fullness of the means of salvation. Sa atin, hindi. Pag nag-believe ka lang, sincerely ask for forgiveness and you believe that Christ died for you, He resurrected for you, you will be saved. Uh, and dami nating verse Titus 3.5, um, you can use John 3.16, Ephesians 2.8-9, and even yung, naalala nyo yung isang criminal sa cross, right? Yung criminal siya almost his whole life, but then at the end of his life, sabi niya, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Sabi ni Jesus, surely, surely, I tell you that you will today you will be with me in paradise. The man was saved. The man was saved at the very last moment he believed. So, again, babalik tayo dun eh. That salvation is always by grace. It's our, it's our through, through our faith in Christ. Kaya ka masisave. Um, but again, sa kanila, you have to be, to be part of the church. So, there's a sense of exclusivity in, in here. So, tinutukoy niya rin na church dyan, of course, is the church na established doon ni Peter sa Matthew uh, 16, I think. So, guys, tanong, so, balik ako sa tanong, no? 
uh, different ba tayo? Tayong Protestant, tayong Christian, tayong Evangelical with Roman Catholic. Both externally and internally. Yes. Externally, kanina pinakita yung mga pictures sa inyo. Internally, teachings, eto. You can find it in the internet. Type nyo lang Catechism to the, the, the Catholic Church. So, different talaga siya. Magkaiba. And I don't want to dwell too much na bombard ko kayo ng too much information. But what I'm trying to say is different talaga siya. Magkaiba. And then guys, sobrang quickly lang, uh, quickly lang, alam ko naubusan ako ng time. Uh, dapat sana, no, may, may nag-suggest din sa akin na maganda sana Christianity and Roman Catholic. Isang topic yun. And then next week naman, Christianity and Buddhism. Christianity and Islam. Sa akin din, binigay Christianity and other religion. Lahat, ang dami. Kaya, try ko lang guys, quickly lang. Uh, Buddhism, uh, I really love Buddhism din. Pinag-aralan namin siya sa, sa seminary. Ang Buddhism naman is it's just a pursuit of of extinguishing your own desire. Alisin mo lahat ng desire mo. So, desire mo mag-shopee, desire mo mag-lazada, alisin mo yun. <laughs> kasi, kasi daw, mga desire daw, these are causes of suffering. So, ito yun, four noble truths and four noble truths and eightfold path. Uh, pagdating sa Buddhism, yun. quickly lang, sobrang bilis lang. Number one is suffering is omnipresent. Ibig sabihin, again, this is in the book pala ni Norman Anderson, Word the Legion, page 172. Um, Una-una is suffering is omnipresent. Ibig sabihin lahat tayo nagsasuffer. Um, sana na lang, hindi. No? Pero that's the truth. Eh. Lahat tayo, we all, we all experience suffer, suffering. So number two is meron daw ng cause ng suffering. So ano yun? Number three. Suffering ceases when desire ceases. So desire ang nagkakos ng suffering. And then paano mo aalisin yun o magiging mawalan ka ng you don't experience suffering? You follow the eightfold path. Galing, no? galing, galing nung ganong teachings. No? Um, kasi suffering is the number one problem of the world. Diba? And Buddhism is trying to help solve that. So ito yung eightfold path. Right views, as, right aspiration, right speech conduct. Di ko na isa-isa-isahin. No? Basta yan yung kanilang kailangan mo sundin. If, you, if, Buddhist, if talagang Buddhist ka, um, you should know this. Um, isa pa guys, no? share ko lang. Minsan kasi sa atin dito, lalo na sa Philippines, minsan ako confuse natin, tayong feel chai. Minsan ako confuse natin ang Chinese tradition with Buddhism. Share ko, no, nung nagpunta kami ng funeral, kasama ko si Sha Boksu. Sipin mo, no, kaming dalawa ni Sha Boksu. Tapos pumunta kami ng funeral. Pagpasok namin doon, alam mong ginawa ni Sha Boksu, huwag niyo, huwag niyo masamain si Sha Boksu. Kinorek niya yung mga, mga ginagawa nung, nung mga nasa funeral service. So, for example, meron doon chopstick. May alay, di ba? Like Buddhist funeral daw. Eh. So, may, may alay, may dalawang chopstick. Di kasama ko si Sha Boksu, naglalakad kami. Pag sa, sa, di lang sabi ni Sha Boksu, Sabi niya, oh, sige si MTO, ah, kanan, nangi daw yung, ano, yung, bakit dalawa daw yung chopstick? Dapat, dapat isa lang. Kasi kapag dalawa, you're inviting evil din daw, good and evil. Pag isa lang, dapat good. Tapos namangha yung mga tao, kasi alam nila, Christian si Shaboksu, pero alam niya yung mga ganun eh. Tapos sinas, inexplain yung message ni Shaboksu, actually, itong practice na to, although it has some form of Buddhism, sabi niya, Chinese tradition lang din talaga itong ginagawa nyo. So minsan nasis, na 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 nako-confuse ang tao na kapag inobserve mo yung isang Chinese practice, nagiging Buddhist ka na din. Depende rin eh, hindi lagi. So for example, ako rin pagpasok ko Christian siya na, Christian naman na funeral. Um, pagpasok ko, nakita ko yung may mga puti na paper sa taas. Hindi man siya paper, parang tela, naman may mga sulat na Chinese. Sabi ko, kala ko ba Christian to? Bakit may mga Chinese na sulat? Eh, hindi pa bago pa lang ako pasok. Sabi ko, what yan ito? So, inexplain sa akin ni Reverend Justin. Sabi sa akin, hindi, hindi, hindi yan, hindi yan Buddhist, hindi yan, ano, Chinese tradition lang din natin yan. Sabi ko, ah, okay, okay. Kala ko Buddhist eh. Minsan ganun ako, na-confuse din ako eh kung which one is Buddhist and which one is Chinese. So, minsan, bakit ko sinare yun sa inyo? Minsan sa family nyo, minsan kapag meron lang tayo ginawang small Chinese tradition, oh, Buddhist ka, agad. hindi naman lagi. Depende din, depende. Uh, pero pag, if you're going to believe in true Buddhism talaga, eto yun. Uh, minsan pag tinanong mo, uh, this is Shamir religion, sabi nila, put cow. Tapos pag tinanong mo, yung uh, four noble truths, eight four, pa hindi rin nila. Ano. Kasi minsan nga, they just by label lang Buddhist. Uh, but they, this is the teaching. Dapat alam to lahat ng, ng Buddhist. Uh, yeah. Share ko lang guys, share ko lang para hindi kayo masyado ma-board. Ano kung baka nabobord na kayo. Pumunta kami ni, ni Aya James. Dito siya, birthday niya bukas. 
Doonta kami sa sa Hong Kong noong 2016. Nilibre ako ni Aya Jane sa ano, birthday ko kasi to, malapit sa birthday ko. Nilibre niya ako sa Disneyland. Tingnan tayo pwedeng mag-Disneyland niyan. Punta kami ng Big, Bu- Big Buddha, Lantau Island kasi gusto ko makita yung yung culture nila doon sa sa Hong Kong kung paano nila ginagawa. So ito kami, uh, wala, sorry, Aya James, wala tayong picture dalo, hindi ko alam bakit. Pero ito yung pumunta kami doon uh, sa Lantau Island. Tapos yun nasa pinaka right Sorry, medyo ano siya. Kasi foggy nung pumunta kami. Hindi ko alam bakit. Yan, yan yung malaking statue ni Buddha. That's the big Buddha. Ang laki talaga, guys. Promise, ang laki talaga. Tapos, we, I could see people praying sa, sa tabi na katingin lang doon, nagpe-pray. Ganyan. Tapos, guys, meron siya isa, yung loob niyan. Uh, loob niyang, di ba, may nakaganang malaking Buddha. Pag pumasok ka pa dyan sa building na yan, ito yung, ano yan. So, may ilaw sa ilalim. Kasi nga, eight-fold path, di ba? So, path, maglalakad ka dun. Uh, pag tinignan mo, may nakasulat. So, yan yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. The Eightfold Path. Right speech, right action, right understanding. English na lang basahin ko guys ha. Kasi yung Chinese. <laughs> right livelihood, right mindfulness, right thought, right effort. Kaya ko naman basahin eh. Wala lang tayong time. Wala lang tayong time. So, ito yan guys. Yan yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, Eightfold Path. And then, meron dyan siya sa, sa gilid, sa wall, nakalagay yung Four Noble Truths. So, yan yun. Ah, uh, that's that's Buddhism. And guys, ito one slide lang ako meron sa Islam. Uh, I'm not I'm not I don't ma- know much about Islam, but I just quote from Gerald McDermott. So, ito yung mga basic teachings sa ng Muslim. Ah, uh, may nagsabi sa akin pinag-aralan din daw to nung high school yata. Eh, ko baka bakit kami wala? It's either hindi ako nakikinig or ibabalik papabalik ko yung pera na bin, bin, binayad namin. Bakit wala kami pinag-aralan ng Islam? Pero ito yun sa kanila. No? Number one is si Muhammad, uh, the founder of Islam. Quickly lang guys, di ko na masyada. No? The Quran, which is dapat Arabic. In the, other, the other translation are, are less inspired or not inspired at all. And then they believe in Jesus then. Yun yung gusto ko i-differentiate. Ano? They believe that the, the historical Jesus exists. But not as a savior, not as the perfect God, the perfect person. But he was the greatest of all prophets. Until Muhammad. Until Muhammad. That's very important. And Jesus, ang pinaka laging ginagamit ng Islam is word. Jesus is the spoken word of God. He's the word of God. Lagi. Madalas ginagamit ng mga Islam. Mga interviews na napanood ko lagi, si Jesus is the word, the word, the word, the word of God. And the five pillars pagdating sa Islam, yun yung five, uh, kailangan nila gawin or i-observe. Kasama dyan yung, di ba, nakita nyo, bakit mga Muslim mahilig mag-pray? That's salat, no? Important sa kanila yung praying five times a day. Yeah. So guys, I won't bore you much with this this part. Na. Okay. So guys, uh, lastly, bago ko mag-end ng, ng message ko, gusto ko i-emphasize yung sa atin naman, no? Sa ating Christian faith, what is so unique about our Christian faith? Kung bakit this is something really different, beautiful, and sobrang something that you can that you can appreciate pagdating sa Christian faith natin. Number one is the Christocentric. This is sobrang important na tinuro talaga sa amin. Christ-centeredness and biblical faith and practice. Like I said sa inyo kanina, tayo, Bible talaga. The Word of God is the sole authority. Number one talaga natin ang Word of God. That's why important mag-Bible study. <laughs> Kasi pinag-aaral natin yung pinaka-important na book sa atin, which is the Bible. So the next time na i-invite kayo ng care group leader nyo mag-Bible study, instead of make excuse, malate, gano'n. Atin na kayo guys. Sige na, please. Kasi maganda talaga siya. Kasi very important sa faith natin. And Christ-centered, itong picture na to sa isang book na na meron ako. Nakita niyo guys, I sorry ko medyo maliit no. It's the book of the Old Testament and New Testament. Tingnan niyo saan siya naka-point lahat. It points to the cross. It points to Jesus Christ. Kasi nga ang faith natin is always Christ-centered. Um pardon me sana hindi hindi kayo ma, ma isipin niyo na ina-attack ko yung ibang religion. No. Minsan sa sa Roman Catholic, they have a lot of saints. Um they have Mary, you know. Tayo guys, si Jesus. Jesus talaga tayo. That's, that's, he's the only model that we follow. Si Jesus. Kasi he lived the perfect life eh. Kasi siya yung nag-model ng excellence and nag-model ng sinless life eh. 
And tanong ko sa inyo guys, lalo na sa mga matagal na nasa St. Stephen, yung church ba natin, do you see it as Christ-centered? Christocentric ba yung church natin? Sobra. Ako na magsasabi sa inyo guys. Sobra. Preaching topics pa lang eh. Lahat patungkol kay Jesus. Yung journey niya, speaking niya with people. Tapos ngayon guys, anong, may, anong special day ngayon? Palm Sunday. Patungkol kay Nino. Jesus. Jesus talaga lagi. Kaya nga, kaya nga yung liturgical calendar natin or the, 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 the calendar that we follow yung mga Lent, Advent, yan. it's all about Jesus Christ eh. We follow the life of Jesus. Kaya itong Holy Week, ito na yung time na Jesus will be betrayed. Dito yung time na magkakaroon ng Lord's Supper, washing of the disciples' feet, Good Friday, crucifixion ni Jesus. Tapos sa Sunday is Easter's resurrection. Again, yes, what I'm trying to say is revolve around tayo with Christ. Even yung discipleship plan natin, revolve around the strategy of Jesus. If I may say nga, very addicted tayo kay Jesus kasi ganun talaga. Kaya nga Christian eh, kasi Christ. So so that's the, the the beauty of our faith. Si Christ. Si Christ. I'm not saying na, na hindi na important ang mga Bible character. No, that's not the point. But they are less important compared to Jesus kasi si Jesus talaga ang number one. Like the Bible, nakalagay dyan mga books. Points to, to Him. So ang application natin dito, everything that we think, we say, or we do, reflects the perfect life of Jesus. So, ang pinaka-end natin, as Christians, is not so much glory, it's not so much victory, but it is Christ-likeness. If you could say that with me, kahit sa sarili mo lang, Christ-likeness is so important sa atin. So again, ang unique sa ating Christian faith natin is Christocentric and biblical faith and practice. Okay. So, kaya nilagay ko yung biblical kasi maraming Christ ngayon that is not the Christ of the Bible. Dapat it is the Christ in the Bible or in the Gospel. Okay. So, Paul was also very um, stubborn, if you will, in preaching Christ to people. So, if it's, uh, Philippians 2, 5 to 11, and sakto nga eh. Kasi ito yung message ni, ni, ni Ahemay kanina sa service natin. Um, your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being the nature of God did not consider himself equal with God, but made himself nothing. Taking the very form of a servant, he humbled himself and being obedient to death, even death on the cross. And dahil doon, because he was so obedient, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. And 2 Corinthians 5.17, patungkol din sa atin, if anyone is in Christ, He's a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. So, ganyan ang ganda, no? Ganda, yan, y- yan yung very unique sa, sa faith natin. And to be honest with you, this is one of the major reasons bakit ako Christian. Bakit pinili ko ang Christianity? It's because of Jesus. Kasi siya yung pinaka, ano natin, model. Siya yung pinaka uh, example na pinafollow natin. Si Jesus. Uh, ito rin, ang no? ganda ng to- hindi lang yung character ni Jesus, even his teachings. No? Uh, I really love this teaching. Kaya ako rin to in-include. It's too good not to to to, to overlook. Kasi itong, itong teaching na to, sa atin lang to, check nyo yung halos, eh, wala akong nabasa. Wala akong nabasa sa mga other religion who tells you to love your enemies. Wala. Tayo lang si Jesus. Pag sinampal ka sa left, bigay mo yung right. If sinabi niya kunin mo yung jacket, bigay mo na rin yung t-shirt mo. If pinalakad ka niya ng one mile, dewi mo ng dalawa. Ganun yung teaching ni Jesus. Napakaganda. Kaya kaya nga ginamit niya kasi na word dito is yung nakabilog dyan. Is agape. Agap. Dito nakalagay agapate. Eh. Uh, different tense lang siya. Uh, huwag yun ang masyado aralin yung mga tense niya kasi matetense lang kayo. Pag sinabi niya na yung agape, you love people unconditionally. Uh, yun yung pinaka-meaning nun. Hindi naman literal, bigay mo yung right cheek mo eh. But you love people. You forgive people. As much as how Jesus has loved and forgave you. Kaya, sorry guys, pa ulit ulit ako. No? Kaya, kaya ako Christian talaga. Papanindigan ko. Kasi ang ganda ng teaching ni Jesus eh. He doesn't tell you to retaliate. He doesn't tell you to to curse those who curse you. He, he tells you to bless them. He t- tells you to love those who hate you, even those who use you. Ilove mo sila. Sabi pa niya dyan, pray for those who persecute you. Tindi, no? 
pag-pray mo daw yung mga nagpe-persecute sa'yo or nananakit sa'yo. And that you may be children of your Father in heaven. And hindi lang all talk si Jesus, ginawa niya rin to. On the cross. One of the seven last words. Di ba? Nung unang-unang word niya sinabi doon, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. Hindi naman lumaban si Jesus. Eh. That's, that's how he exemplified now. Uh, ganda, no? Yan yung very unique sa Christian faith natin. Tato lang pala to, guys. Tato. This is the second one. Um, salvation by grace. Guess what I'm talking about kanina. Sa atin, you are saved once you believe with your heart. That uh, Romans 10, 9 to 10. Once you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And isa to sa mga, uh, I'm not sure kung mag-gets, sana makuha niyo tong first point. Oh. We are not saved by good works. But unto good works. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka na save dahil you help a thousands of people. Hindi ka masasave kasi part ka ng church. Hindi ka masasave kasi uh, pinakain mo yung ano mo, sa kapitbahay mo. Ganun. Although those are the commands of God that we have to do, but those are not the basis of salvation. But we are saved unto good works. Ibig sabihin, because you are saved, now your purpose is to do good works for the glory of God, for Jesus, and for God. Hindi yun yung basis, but that's the fruit of your faith. Kasi salvation natin is by grace. It is not by faith. Ephesians 2, 8 to 9. For you, for, uh, wala tuloy ako. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, not by works, so that no one can boast. And Titus 3, 5. Napakaganda. That you are saved by the mercy of God. Okay, very clear. No? Again, Bible tayo. Laging Bible. Balik tayo sa verses ng Bible. And ito is sa second one. We are sinners saved by the initiative act of God's grace and mercy. Initiative act. Ibig sabihin si God yung umabot sa'yo. So for example, ang best example dito is pig nalulunod ka. Kaya ka nalulunod kasi hindi mo kaya isave sarili mo. Gets ba? Uh, kaya ka nga nalulunod kasi wala kang solba vida, wala kang mahawakan. You're on your own. And if you could say na you can do kahit mag dog paddle ka o ano pa man, hindi mo masisave sarili mo eh. Unless somebody from outside, a lifeguard, would jump into that pool or sea or ocean or river to help you, to save you. And that's the faith that we have. Pagdating kay God, He was the one who reached out to you. And you simply or we simply accepted the gift that He has given us. Ang gustong gusto ko yung illustration na isipin nyo guys naglalakad kayo sa very, very thin. Very thin ice. Very thin ice. As in yung pagtapak mo palang masisira na or malulunod ka na. And then you keep saying to yourself na hindi, malakas faith ko. I have so much faith na yung thin ice na yan, hindi ako mahuhulog dyan. Sobrang lakas ng faith ko. Sure ako, 100% di ako malalaglag dyan. So with that kind of attitude, tumapaka ka, nalaglag ka. <laughs> nalaglag ka siyempre, thin ice niya eh. Tapos tinapa ka mo, nalaglag ka. But that picture guys, it's not so much how big your faith is. But it's so much as sino ba yung pino- nilagyan mo ng faith. Gets you guys? It's not so much gano'ng kalaki faith mo, but how much yung, yung thing or yung person, sino ba yung nilagyan mo ng faith? In other words, what's more important than your faith is the object of your faith. Ulitin ko yung guys. What is more important than your faith is the object of your faith. Ang lakas nga ng faith mo. I faith mo nga, thin ice. Doon naman sa thin ice. Wala, wala talaga. So in our faith, important, hindi yung faith natin. It's the object of our faith. And who is that? Si Jesus. Si Jesus. And once si Jesus yun, alam mo, meron kang firm, meron kang sure foundation. Because that is Jesus Christ. And that foundation is also God's grace and mercy. So in other words, pag punta mo sa heaven, tinanong ka, why would I let you enter into my kingdom? If nasa isip mo agad is good works, bagsak na agad. 
sabi mo agad na, Lord, nagbigay ako ng ayuda kay ganito. Lord, naalala mo yung nagbigay ako ng tight sa iyo ganito. Bagsak ka na agad. Kasi you're just giving to God thin eyes. Parang ano lang yun. Parang hindi hindi mahalaga kay God yun. But once you come there sa heaven and ask you the same question, bakit kita papapasok yun? It's because of your grace in Christ. Dahil sa grace ni God, I am able to enter your kingdom. The grace that I have found in Jesus Christ. Gets, gets guys. So that's so, sobrang important sa atin ang grace. Pag magkakaanak kayo, ipangalan nyo grace. Kasi ang ganda ng grace talaga na ulit. That's, that's what we live with every day. God's grace. And lastly guys, one of the very unique of our faith then is uh, kailangan ko sabihin talaga to sa inyo. Sobrang important na ito sa Christian faith natin. The resurrection of Jesus found in 1 Corinthians 15, 13, 14, and 17. The resurrection of Christ proves the superior power of God over sin and grave, over death. Sobrang important ng resurrection. Itong verse na to tells you everything. And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless and so is your faith. Your faith is futile or walang kwenta and you are still in your sin. Um, Buddha never resurrected. Other religion, wala siyang turo ng resurrection. Only our faith, Christian faith, tells us that Jesus proved his power through the resurrection. He is not dead. He is alive and he is with us. And that gives us the strength for today and for tomorrow. So, recap ko lang, guys. Um, what's so unique about the Christian faith? Yan, tatlo. Sorry, alam ko medyo nag-overtime na ako. So, these are the three. At least, ito pa lang yung tatlo. Ang dami pa ng, sobrang daming unique pa sa Christian faith natin. But at least, these three ang naisip ko for for me to share with you guys. I hope that you could, you would be blessed by by these three unique Uh, of the Christian faith. Um, Christ-centeredness, biblical faith, uh, sa lahat ng practice natin, it's very important. We model Jesus Christ. Salvation by grace, more than more than um, good works. Uh, it is by grace that we are saved. And third is the resurrection of Christ to prove to us that He has authority over life and that there is life after death. And for us, death is not something to be frightened about. It is something that we can rejoice to. So guys, um, these are the very unique of the Christian faith. And I hope uh, may na-learn kayo for today uh, with my short message, or hindi pala short, long message ko. And here are some of the reflection questions that you can think about for your care group later on. Okay, so before before I end, Um, can I ask everyone to to pray lang to pray? Let can we pray together lang sandali? Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for your word. We have seen the beauty of your gospel. And who are we, Lord, to be saved by your outstretched and mighty arm? Though we are sinners, Lord, you chose to love us, not because of our good works, not because of what we have done, but because you are the incarnation of love. You are love it, itself, Lord. And help us to be conformed into the image of your Son every day. Yes, Lord, we are far from perfect, but we are not the same person that we used to be. And it is our prayer that we would grow a deeper appreciation of our faith starting today because of what you have done and because of who you are. Pray for joy fellowship, Lord. May we have a revived heart to attend Bible studies, to attend joy fellowship, even other fellowships and church services, knowing that we have a faith that is true 
we have a belief that is more than a, a religion, but it is a saving relationship, a redemptive relationship with you. We love you so much, O oh Lord, and be with us. We pray all this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.